Hello there my music lovers, I'm Joshua Diafail Heaven and today we are having a look at the Burson Supercharger 3A. This is basically a power converter for Burson products and uh, it is supposed to improve the performance of Burson products. Now this is priced at 284 US dollars and there is a 5A version priced at 384 US dollars. They are quite pricey for power sources but at the same time they do provide some improvement. The unboxing experience is quite simple. We have the supercharger and three adapters for different outlet types. The cable is not detachable and if you break it you are done for. We have the Romanian and European one here. It is a very basic adapter, no grounding actually. And after you plug it in this is pretty much the product you get. This is the power adapter and Burson actually made a statement about this. They want their power adapters to be simple, to be efficient and to be elegant. They don't want large power adapters and they actually invested a lot in research and development for developing something that doesn't occupy a lot of space, is not heavy, but still provides an improvement in Sonics. So this is how they ended up with this, the supercharger. I did make a full written review on the Burson Supercharger 3A where I explained the technology inside, but basically it improves the overall operation of Burson amplifiers and at 284 US dollars it is almost half the price of Burson Funk which I reviewed and which was the main amplifier I paired with the supercharger. I mean at that price point it is quite pricey but there are better Burson products where the price difference won't be that high and where I would recommend it a bit more but the Burson supercharger 3 actually brings some improvements to the sound. It makes the background less noisy, it gives better dynamics, better clarity and an improved overall resolution and definition for music. Whether it is worth purchasing it or not is a complicated question because at 284 US dollars it is quite pricey at least for Burson Funk. If you're already invested in a more pricey Burson product then it will bring improvements that are actually welcome and for which you don't pay that much in relation to the original price of the product. If you have a Burson Funk I did find that it improves the overall control resolution dynamics also it tends to give better overall control and bass depth somehow. It seems like the bass is better controlled and extends a bit lower with speakers. And I did use the Burson Funk to amplify the speakers I have in the back. Those are the NHTC3 and I've been using them for quite a while. It is time I made the review on them. They are a very impressive pair of speakers and they are the pair of speakers that made me give up on my Adam Audio T7V speakers. The supercharger is actually fully recommended by me on Audio File Heaven. I do think that it brings quite an improvement to the Burson Funk, enough for it to be worth the investment. I do think that if you just purchase the Burson Funk, you should also invest in a pair of quality speakers and in the high quality DAC before investing in the supercharger. But if you already have a setup with which you are very happy, then the Burson supercharger will be a very worthwhile investment to just refine that setup before of course you upgrade the amplifier. Burson makes better amplifiers than the funk. Burson also makes better ducks. And I hope that this video has been enjoyable to watch. I hope you'll give a like to this video. Also press subscribe if you want more content. I thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome weekend there. Bye bye.